Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a compilation of my previous sticker DIYs. This first DIY, I have this wee square blackboard and I'm just gonna tape off the sides with some masking tape. And I'm not bothered about the inside part of the wood. I don't mind if that part gets paint on it. And then I'm gonna paint it with some plaster Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to use some super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree. And I only painted the inside, the blackboard part, and now I just, I already put some beads all around the outside and I put one with some hot glue on the string at the top. I got these pretty wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the blue one and just put the larger sticker in the middle and then put the wee ones in the corners and you can use whichever colour you like you can also stain the beads or paint them if you want to but I think this turned out so pretty I really like this one I think it might be my favourite of the video I have one of these stand up blackboards and I don't know how I got paint on the back I didn't notice till I got home but I just Put some hot glue in the back because the inside part was moving around and I have some of these stickers from Dollar Tree. So I'm just measuring how many I'm going to need and then I'm just going to cut them out. And I'm cutting them out so that they look the same on both ends. Just got to cut round all those circle ones. And then I'm just going to stick them down in place. You can do them across the way if you want to, or you could use the other. There's like, I've used them before. The ones that look like wee flowers, you could use them. And then I'm going to paint the inside with some mountain blue apple barrel paint and this is what it looks like I see the pattern is so pretty I was gonna paint the whole thing blue but then I decided I'm gonna stain the frame with some early American wood stain and then I have these laser cutouts from Dollar Tree and I stained one with the early American wood stain and then I decided I wanted to put another one on the top so I just hot glued them both down. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute and simple. And you can just fill up a space on a shelf or something with it. I just love how the wood and that mountain blue goes together. together. And I have one of these signs from Dollar Tree. I'm just taking the hanger off the back and then I'm going to push the back out. I'm going to take the wee fox off. And then it has the, oh, I sand off the little bits of paper that was still on it. And it has these little metal pieces in it. So I'm just pushing them all up with a pair of scissors. And then I pull them out with a what's it called? These pliers. <laughs> and then I paint the frame with some Waverly plaster chalk paint and I gave it two coats. And now I'm just distressing the edges a little bit with a sanding block from Dollar Tree. And I'm just attaching the metal ribbon to the sides of this. And I'm just doing the same thing with the tweezers and the wee nails but I have some of these clips and I'm just clipping it in place so that it doesn't move around but just be careful when you are hammering the wood like this because it might break <laughs> I did break the first side so I didn't show you that so I'm showing you the second side where I did it better and then when you get to the edge you just hammer it around until you go to the next one. But I'm only going to show you one side and then do the rest off camera. 
and you can hardly even notice these wee nails once it's all finished. So once I got to the end I just snipped off the excess and hammered it down and you can't even notice the join. So for the middle part I had this mandala tile sticker from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to trace around where I want to cut it out because I want to make sure the middle of the mandala is in the middle of the tray that I'm making. So I just Trace it around with a sharpie and then I cut it out with some scissors. Once that's cut out, you just have to peel off the backing paper and then stick it in place. And then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors. And now I'm just going to hot glue the two pieces back together. And then I hot glue the wee gaps that are were in the back. And then I just hot glued the half beads on the bottom to make some wee feet and I'll link all the beads and stuff and the nails and all that down below and this is how it turned out you can choose different colour paint if you want to but I think it turned out really pretty Next DIY I stained 28 beads with the Varathane and here are three of the 8x10 canvases, the flat ones without the wood in them, from Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting up some popsicle sticks. And I have some twine there. And I'm just cutting enough popsicle sticks to fit on the corners where I'm going to attach the twine. And then just hot glue in the end of the twine. And then I put three of the beads on the twine and then I hot glue one side to one of the canvases with the popsicle stick and then I do the same to the white. Well, I got the ruler <laughs> to make sure they're straight and then I pulled it tight and then I did the same on the other side. And then I'm going to do this three more times to join the three canvases together. So I'll just show you one more and then I'll do the other two off camera. And then on one end of the twine I did this for the other ones. <laughs> I just put some hot glue so it's easier to thread them on. And the other end I just tied a knot and then I just put the rest of the beads on. But I did the same thing as the last time and I put one less two many beads and I seen it on the table at the end after I'd, I tried to hang it up and I was like what, why is it wonky? So I'll have to go back and fix that. But then I just do this on one end I just attach the beads in the same way. And then I found these wall stickers at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take the three that all have the same leaf on them and I stuck them down like this thinking they might stick open. <laughs> but they didn't. Sometimes the stickers are really sticky, sometimes they're not. I had to use some Mod Podge to stick them down. 
so I just applied it to the back with a paintbrush and then once I'd done them all, I don't show this on the camera but I just put a heavy book on each one just to make sure that it's stuck down flat before I did the Mod Podge, I tried doing glue stick <laughs> but I kept, the stickers kept curling up, they wouldn't stick down so then I decided to try the Mod Podge and that worked <laughs> And I just wiped away any Mod Podge that I got on the stickers with a wet paper towel. And you don't have to use these stickers, Dollar Tree has so many nice little stickers in it. And I really love how this turned out. I think it goes so well with the red brick wallpaper that I just put up in my craft room. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also let me know which one of these DIYs in this video are your favourite and is there anything that you would do differently. I love getting your guys feedback. And for this first DIY I have this little window frame. I'm just taking off the little Our Family Gather Here sign and then I'm using an X-Acto knife just to trim off the little extra plastic in between the window parts, <laughs> the frame, and then took, I took the extra hot glue off the front as well and I know these signs are old but I've looked for them for so long and I finally found them the other day so I got quite a few of them. Next I take some Dollar Tree wallpaper and I just line up the frame with the pattern on the wallpaper of how I want it to show through. And then I just mark it off with a pencil and then I cut it out with some scissors but I cut it out a wee bit smaller than what I marked it with the pencil. This was me deciding if I was going to put it inside the frame or not. So I decided to take the back off and I just unscrewed it with some new screwdrivers that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I placed the wallpaper inside and then I used a little Cricut tool just to poke holes through the wallpaper for the screws. And then I just screwed the screws back in. And it was much easier than gluing it. <laughs> And then I have a flower from Dollar Tree and I decided to take the biggest piece at the back off because it was going to be too much for the frame and then I hot glued it and then it wasn't going to sit right so I took the green part back off again and then I just hot glued each layer to make them stick down how they were before and then that was it and I think it turned out so pretty. I just love the blue colours. I have a little crate and some half beads. I think I had 24. And then I stained them with this Barathane Golden Oak Gel Stain because it matched the colour of this frame. And I'm just taking off the sign off the front like I did before. But this didn't this one didn't have all the extra pieces of plastic on it. <laughs> and I have this scrap piece of the wallpaper from Dollar Tree. Couldn't remember what it's called there. So I was just doing the same thing. And you can just glue it on the back if you want to. You don't have to unscrew it. And this one actually fit in between the screws, so I just trimmed a wee bit extra off the bottom so that it would be clear of the screws. And then I just screwed them back in. And then I just start hot gluing with the half beads on. I put one in the middle here to cover up the little what was left after I pulled the glue off. And then I just spaced them out going down each side. 
and I think that the golden oak was a good match for this room. Of course, you can always paint them your favourite colour, you don't have to keep them like this. And then I just finish off this side on camera and then I'll do the other side off camera. And I'm just going to hot glue the little crate on, but you should definitely use some stronger glue because mine fell off and I had to glue it again. But I just use hot glue because it's quicker for in camera, but I think it turned out really cute. You can always put home or something with your Cricut or the Dollar Tree stickers or something on the front of the crate if you wanted to, but I just wanted to leave mine as clean. And then I'm taking some of the super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue these in the corner and using four of the bigger wooden beads that I have and then I'm using well I use four of the smaller beads uh, in each corner. And I just can't stop using the beads in my DIY style. <laughs> I should have bought them a long time ago. I kept looking for the ones in Dollar Tree, but I could never find them, so I got these ones on Amazon, and the links will be down below if you are interested in them. But I just ordered some more <laughs> because I've thought of some more DIYs that I can do with them. And then I paint it with the Waverly Blaster Chalk paint. And then I dry brush some of the Folk Art Gold paint over the beads I was going to leave them plain but then I decided to put some gold on it I'll just show you one then I'll do the rest off camera and then I also brushed some gold along the edgy and you could always use the frame the canvases <laughs> with the wooden frame inside of it and then brushing the gold on the side would make more of an impact next i painted 14 beads with the waverly valley slipper chalk paint and then i dry brushed the full power gold paint over the top And then I'm just going to cut, struggle to, to cut a popsicle stick in half to make a frame. And then I took some twine and I just tied a knot on one end and then I hot glued the other end to make it easier to thread the beads on. And I just used a skewer to paint the beads and I just put some painter's tape at one end. And this works when you have a small batch of beads but if you wanted to stain or paint a lot of them, then just put the paint in some Tupperware or the stain and then you can shake them around and then you can just wipe off, take the beads out and then wipe off the excess paint or stain and then leave them to dry. So I just hot glued the hanger on and then I have some wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I picked this rainbow one and it has gold in it and obviously pink. <laughs> That's why I chose gold and pink for the beads and I think it turned out really nice. But you can let me know what you think in the comments down pictures which you like to see on them. And I got this wood round from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking out the hanger and I have these zigzag stickers and I'm just trying to make it straight. <laughs> so I'm using the ruler and I'm just going to stick them down just how they were on the sticker sheet and any parts that are hanging off the end I just trim them off and then I just keep repeating this until I like how it looks and any spaces that are on the edges I just have to cut out pieces of the sticker to fill them in
and I ended up using two packs of these, well not, I was just one and a bit pack. <laughs> And I actually liked how all these colours look together so I think I will make something else and not paint over them And if you don't like these stickers, the Dollar Tree has the jewel stickers, they are like little flowers, those ones are pretty. I've used them a lot. <laughs> I still have loads of packs of them actually. I'll use them again soon. So I just wanted to show you me doing all the little um, fill in pieces. You just have to fill it in to make it look like the pattern. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I wanted to make sure it was all covered. Okay, so I'll do the rest off camera. I think I've shown you. And I paint over it with some Waverly ink chalk paint. I'm just removing the painter's tape now and my plan was to do the other side in the Waverly antique wax but I spilled some paint on it. <laughs> Look how pretty it looks once it's covered up. <laughs> so I had to paint the other side in another colour. So I just tape off the other side with the painter's tape. And then I decided to use this pool colour uh, Waverly chalk paint and then to cover up that part in the middle I decided to use some of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and I just hot glued it on So I'm just using the hanger that came with the wood round and I'm just put, I put 24 beads on it and I will link these th beads down below as well. I used the large ones out of it for the first DIY. I like when Dollar Tree does these hangers because you don't need to hot glue them. <laughs> you can just thread them back through again. So I found this flower on Cricut Design Space I looked up abstract and I found it. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick it down to the wood round. <laughs> I forget what I'm saying. Uh, I didn't want to, the transfer paper didn't want to come off. I got off. I'm just making sure it's all flat because obviously I'm making it into a stencil. And then I use the ink chalk paint again and I just dab it on with a makeup sponge. If I'd had some black vinyl then I would have just made it <laughs> with the black vinyl but I didn't have any left so I had to make a stencil. And then once I finished putting the paint on I just peel off the vinyl. Okay, now I peel off the vinyl. 
and then I blasted it with a hair dryer so that I could weed out the pieces in the middle. I'll just show you a wee bit and then I'll do the rest off camera. And this is how it turned out. I just love how those stickers look when they are painted, just giving a nice pattern. I found this wee pic picture frame with a tractor on the top and oh, not in the tractors. <laughs> so I cut it off. Uh, with a box cutter and then I just give it a sand to get rid of any of the rough parts and then I took some ink Waverly chalk paint and then I just painted over the bit that I just cut off and then I painted over the farmers market cow piece in the middle yeah, I liked the crisscross design around the outside, so I wanted to keep that. And I will finish this off camera. I got these stickers from Dollar Tree, and I just want to take one off and place it in the middle, and that is it. It's nice doing some easy DIYs after all the Tumblr and Tower ones because they take a long time. And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out really cute. And you can put this on a tear tray or fill a space on a shelf. I have this little sign from Dollar Tree and I had painted it grey for a previous DIY. I'm just going to take a lighter to it to burn off all the little hairs. And then I paint it with some plaster Waverly chalk paint. And then I found more stickers. <laughs> These blue and green ones that are so beautiful. So I decided to put them on this little sign and I promise these are the last sticker DIYs <laughs> unless Dollar Tree brings out some even nicer ones but this is the last ones for a while so I just stuck them spaced them out just the same as they were on the sticker paper and I just stick them all the way to the bottom and I was going to put some florals or some greenery on this but it just didn't look right so I decided it just looked better nice and simple so I bought four packs of these stickers and that was enough to do this DIY and the next two DIYs and then I had three stickers left over at the end of these three DIYs and this is how it turned out and I just think the stickers are so beautiful. I can't wait to see what Dollar Tree comes up with next. For this next DIY, I am just hot gluing five of these round beads to the bottom of this square canvas. And I did end up putting another four beads on it just to make it a bit more sturdy. And then I'm taking some of the super glue, uh, wood glue from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna glue on these little half pearl beads. And I will leave links for the beads in the description box below in case you're interested. And I just glue these all around the outside, making sure they're right at the edge. And then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I just started sticking these tiles on um, right close up next to each other and I just kept sticking them down making sure there was no spaces And because I put the beads right up to the edge, I made sure this was going to fit first. <laughs> they were able to fit 
and perfect inside it. I was trying not to get too many to look the same together. I wish I had a bigger tray <laughs> and more stickers, I would have made a bigger one. And because these stickers are not see-through like the other ones, you can use like the darker wood colour behind them instead of the white paint. And I just love how this turned out. I think it's so cute. I just have to find somewhere to put it. <laughs> And for this last DIY, I have three of these wooden planks and 12 of these little square cubes. And I'm just measuring where I want to cut on one of the planks. I'm using some wood glue to glue down some of the bigger beads that were in the pack. Half beads. <laughs> and I already laid them out how many I would need. I just glue them down. I'm only going to do the three sides, I'm not going to do the back because I'm not going to see it. <laughs> I didn't have enough stickers to do the back anyway, so... I just glue all these down. And I have four um, in a row on these two smaller pieces, but I end up using five. Five on each row. So I was going to use um, some uh, hot glue. <laughs> I was going to use the wood to glue to glue all this together, but then I thought I'll just use hot glue. This is going to be quicker. So I just hot glue the little squares in the corners. I leave a space at the top though, and I do that for all the corners because I'm making this into a banner. Here you can see I used five beads because I glued the smaller pieces on the inside of the larger pieces and here I am just gluing the other blocks on top of the blocks that are on the bottom to make me some wee legs. And then I stained it all with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I took the leftover stickers and then I just spaced them out and stuck them around the three sides. If I had enough, I probably I might have done the back. I don't know. <laughs> you can do the back of yours if you if you make this. And you can glue them down as well, because some of them are sticky, stickier than others. And I didn't let my, my antique wax dry completely before I stuck them down. So you should definitely do that. I was just being impatient and wanted to get the video finished. And I think these stickers look so pretty with the antique wax. I love it. <laughs> And then I took a piece of cardboard, you could always use foam board, and then I just traced around the inside of this planter, cut it out, and then placed it in the bottom of it. And then I just filled it with some floral foam, some Spanish moss, and some succulents. This 
next DIY, I have this little sign from Dollar Tree and I thought I was going to be able to pull that fox off and not rip the paper, but I ripped the paper. So I had to peel all the paper off it. <laughs> And I used this little scraper tool from Dollar Tree, and it did take me a while. I could have pushed the back out and then turned it over, but I didn't want to go, I didn't want to do all that. So I just scraped all of the paper off, and then I gave it a sand. And I actually like that I did this because it gave some texture and it looks really nice and then I painted it with the plaster chalk paint which I forgot to show you but I used that throughout the whole video and then I have found more of these tile stickers but these are like a native print and they are so pretty like each set gets better <laughs> and then I just placed these all around to create a border in the frame I printed off these feathers from Cricut Design Space that have like little dots and triangles and stuff on them. So I thought they would go nice with the stickers because of the patterns on them and also there's feathers on the stickers. And I maybe should have made them a little bit smaller, but I don't know. You guys could tell me what you think in the comments. So I just stuck them down in the middle. And I was going to leave them like that, but then I decided to colour them in. <laughs> so you can also tell me if you think I should have just left them black, or if you like them coloured in. And I just used some similar colours to what was in the stickers, out of what paint I had. And this one is... I can't remember what the yellow one was called. What is it? Yellow Waverly Chalk Paint. <laughs> And I'm sure that one was a Gavi. And then I used celery and crimson. And that was the colours that I used. They're all Waverly chalk paints. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out really pretty. But you can let me know if you like the colours or if you thought I should have left the feathers plain. And this next DIY, I have one of these square planks and then four of the rectangle planks. And I stained them all with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to mark it off with masking tape. And then I'm going to paint inside with the plaster Waverly chalk paint and I give it two coats and just dry it with a hair dryer in between I should get heat to all that and stop stuff blowing everywhere I just dry it off again because I'm going to make a cross with the masking tape and the paint. So I measured it out but I still got it wrong somehow. <laughs> but you'll see me fix it later on. And then I just went over the with two coats as well. So after doing the last DIY and then the next DIY that you're going to see, I had 11 of these stickers left over. So I had to use them up and 
This is what I came up with. So I'm just hot gluing them all down. Because this packet wasn't very sticky. The other packets that I used were sticky, but this one wasn't. And I bought two of these packets the other day of stickers. And then I went back yesterday to get another packet so I could do more DIYs and I had to hunt through all the stickers and I found one packet of them. <laughs> they were hiding so do check all the stickers because I also found some blue and green tile stickers um, and they're, uh, they're so pretty so I can't wait to use them and see what I come up with. But yeah, you have to check the stickers or you might not find them. And then I just hot glued some tower blocks. You could stain these if you want to. But I was going to use a wood glue but then I decided just to use tower blocks to glue it together and some hot glue. Because I was running out of time on the my memory card on the camera. So I wanted to get it finished and then it cut out before I did this part <laughs> so I had to put everything on my computer and then film that last very last piece there <laughs> but this is how it turned out and uh, I just love how it turned out and this last DIY I have four of these houses and then I made 12 of these tower blocks with three tower blocks each in them. And I painted everything with the plaster Waverly chalk paint. And I have two packs of stickers. And if you wanted to completely cover the back as well, then I would get three packs. But I'm not covering the back, <laughs> so... So I just spaced them out um, in the middle of each side, except the back. <laughs> and the, the, these packets were sticky, but you can always glue them if you want to. And if you space them out more, you wouldn't need three packs. But I decided to put them closer together so they don't fit all the way around. So I just did those sides that you could see me doing on each one. Although I'm off camera there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, that's what I did. And I did it for all of them. And now I'm going to take some super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree. And then, yeah, so for these, I'm going to have two with the arrow part facing one way and two with it facing the other way. But you can have them all facing the same way if you want. And then I just use some wood glue and I glue these pieces in place. And I did that for three of them and then I painted four of these little wooden cubes to make little legs. And I painted them with the plaster paint and then I glued them down with some wood glue. Then once all that was dry I used some hot glue and some wood glue on each piece so that I could stick it together. And there you see I did one arrow, it's like an arrow facing one way and then the next one facing the other way and then that one will be facing the same way. And then I just stack them up and you can fill them with whatever you like, you could just make them little 
tear tray or you can fill it with the succulents it's up to you, I did a bit of both And I have this wee picture frame and I had used it for another DIY so I had some scrapbook paper in it already and I got these butterfly wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting out which ones that I want and I'm making this for for my boyfriend's what boyfriend's <laughs> boyfriend's daughter and she's coming to live here in August so I thought I'd make her something cute for her room she loves blue and butterflies and I actually bought these stickers for her to DIY with but she didn't do that last time she was here but she still has plenty left on her I can get her some more <laughs> so I just picked which ones I wanted cut them out and then I was just fitting them on to see how it would look I was deciding if I was gonna paint it or not. So I just turned the scrap pick paper over because that was a better idea <laughs> and then I just started sticking down the butterflies and Dollar Tree has so many nice stickers if you can find them <laughs> to make pictures and stuff with. Yeah, I wanted that big one to be in the middle so I'm just filling around the outside and then I just trim off all the excess sticker and then I filled in the little spaces with the parts that I cut off And then I trim them down as well. And I printed off an R on my Cricut, but you can also use Dollar Tree stickers. And just weeding it, and then I'm gonna stick it onto the picture. <laughs> And I really love how all those butterflies look together on the picture. So I was having trouble <laughs> uh, getting the back of the vinyl off, but I just fixed it with my uh, weeding tool. And then I had to fix that wee bit. And then I just put it back in the frame again. I was thinking I was going to take it off and maybe make it bigger, but I, c I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was too stuck down, the rest of it. So I just put it back in the frame. And then this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. I hope she likes it. <laughs> DIY, I'm gonna use some plaster Waverly chalk paint and I just painted the the bottom of this tray and the outside because you're not gonna see the inside because it's gonna be at the back. And then I have oh, the cream nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I just made a loop through the handle part and tied a knot and then I did it again with the other part because I want that to hang this up and it was a bit too long so I just adjusted it I didn't want to come apart <laughs> and then I put the other pieces through the bottom and then I hot glued these knots in place and then I put the two ropes together at the bottom and tied the knot.
and I pushed it up so it would be right up against the wood. I had to redo that not to. <laughs> and then I just adjusted it till it looked how I wanted it to look. And then I cut off the rope at the bottom and started unraveling it and then I got a wee dog brush from Dollar Tree that I bought for doing this ages ago for brushing out these ropes and I have never done it yet. So I just hot gluing it in place as well so it doesn't move around and then I brush it out. <laughs> And it was taking too long so I started unravelling it some more and then kept brushing it and then once I was happy with that I trimmed it at the bottom but then I did trim it shorter off camera because I thought it was a bit too long And then I have these stickers, wall stickers from Dollar Tree, so I'm just taking the, the wee smallest ones and I'm going to stick them in a line on the front of this. And that's it, just a cute simple DIY, because I've been doing a lot of hard ones lately. <laughs> Had to take it easy, but I still think it turned out really cute. Four inch uh, nesting box from Dollar Tree and this is the smallest one and I'm just going to take the hardware off the front of it and then I'm going to hot glue some of this burlap ribbon to the front. This ribbon is also from Dollar Tree and it's the new ones that come in like a set of three and if you wanted to you could use the bigger size boxes. I thought this one would look really cute. And I will hot glue the rest on off camera. I have these square stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking the the like raised sticker part off and then I'm just sticking the other the back part inside the box and then I'm gonna take some wood glue and I'm gonna glue these little half beads to the bottom for feet and <laughs> They were supposed to go on the part that had um, the holes in it, but I'd forgotten. <laughs> so just you make sure you put it in the right place. But it still turned out cute. So I have another one of these four inch wee boxes, nested boxes, and I'm just taking off the hardware again. And then I'm just using these screwdrivers there from Dollar Tree to take it off and then I'm just making the, the hole right through with them and then I'm going to make the hole bigger so I can fit some twine through it. I don't want to go get the drill and stuff and I knew this would be easy just to push them through. So I have some of this twine. It's like twine has got uh, cream in it too so I'm just hot glue one end so I can thread it through and I was trying to decide what length I was going to have it and then I decided I wanted to put some beads on it <laughs> so I just hot glue the other end and then I start threading the beads on and I put 10 beads on but uh, I think maybe I should just put four. You guys can let me know what you think <laughs> in the comments down below. And I will link these beads and the half beads and the saw and stuff down below in case you're interested in them. I just tied the knot and I just hot glued it a little bit and then I trimmed off the excess. 
and then I put a wee bit more hot glue on it. I have this scrapbook paper and it's from the same pad as the last DIY from Michaels and I'm just going to cut out a piece to fit in the middle in the middle, inside <laughs> so I just keep uh, trimming it down and yeah I want it to look I didn't want to just eyeball it because I wanted to look nice <laughs> So I just mark it off and then use the ruler and then trim it. And then I hot glue it inside. And I have some more of these yellow roses. So I'm just, just going to cut some off and arrange them and then hot glue them in place but this is like the hardest part of the DIY <laughs> arranging the flowers so once I was happy with how it looked I stuck another one of those stickers down and then I hot glued all the flowers in place. You could just use some greenery from Dollar Tree if you can't find these cute little roses. I hope I can find some more. <laughs> and I'll finish off gluing the flowers on off camera. And this turned out so cute. I really love those wee flowers and the scrapbook paper. And I don't usually like words and stuff, but it's not a joke. For this DIY, I am using these two inch wooden squares that I got from Amazon, and I'm just going to glue. With some wood glue, a tower block to the back of each one. And then I stain them with the Early American Wood Stain by Minwax. And this is what they look like. And then I have more of these stickers. So I'm just going to pull off this one from the front. And it says, Grateful and Blessed. <laughs> And for the next one, I had this wee uh, wood cut out from Dollar Tree left over, so I painted it with some of the folk art Spanish moth chalk paint. And I just wanted to use up well, stickers and this little cut out and stuff that I had lying around. So I just hot glued it on the front of that one and this is how they turned out. You can use these for tear tray or the little mini shelves and stuff that I made. I put one of them on that. that. For this last DIY I'm going to use two of these little 5 inch canvases from Dollar Tree and I already took the material off one so I'm just going to careful what it looks like. And I found this wee vase in Dollar Tree but I don't like the flower. So I'm just going to swap it for some eucalyptus and then that's it finished. I think this turned out so cute and I enjoyed making it. Sometimes. So I start with this picture from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to rip off the paper from the front. Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, um, I was sick after New Year and then my dog decided to go missing for a whole week and he's going to be 14 this year, so I was devastated. But luckily someone found him and brought him back, so I'm happy again. <laughs> and I got these stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just attaching them around the outside of the picture frame to make a border. 
And if you can't find these stickers, you can always just use some of the pearl wrap. And I used that in the next DIY because I didn't have enough of these stickers. Um, but it still turned out nice. And also, there's like the strips of the um, rhinestones or the strips of pearls you can get. You could also use them if you wanted to. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing. Ivory Waverly chalk paint and I gave it two coats of that and you can use any colour combination that you like. I'm just using these colours because they go with my living room and well, I might make some um, DIYs with pink and stuff, I don't know yet. And I just use my hair dryer to dry everything really fast because I'm impatient. And then I'm going to use the Ocean Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm just going to dry brush it over where the pearl stickers were and along all the edges, the sides. <laughs> and again, you don't have to use blue, you can use whatever is your favourite colour and you can let me know down below if you would pick these colours or if you would make this and choose what colours you, you would choose. So yeah, just dry brush along the sides. And then I had this grapevine heart left over from last year, well last Valentine's Day from Dollar Tree. So I just hot glue that on and then this ribbon is from Dollar Tree and I just make a little bow by making two loops and then tying them in a knot <laughs> and uh, I'm not the best at making bows um, so there you go <laughs> and then I just hot glue it on and then trim it trim the ends to the length that I want and that's it I thought it turned out so cute and pretty and yeah you can just keep this up all year round if you want it to it doesn't have to be for valentine's day amazon so i have this little hexagon welcome sign and i'm just using my cricut tool to take the metal welcome off because i want to keep it flat because i'm going to use that part and i'll use the wooden part and in the future i'm just scraping off all the extra paper off the back Then I painted it with some mineral Waverly chalk paint and I have this live, love, laugh sign and I just unscrew in the love off the front of it and then I gave it a wee sand and then I pulled the paper off and it came off so easy this time. <laughs> and then I painted it with the ink Waverly chalk paint over the entire thing. And I'm going to use one of these self-adhesive tiles from Dollar Tree to cover the front. And I want the middle of the tile to be in the middle of the circle, so I had to see where that would be. And then I'm just going to stick it down. And then use my Cricut tool to make a fold in the bottom. And then I use my X-Acto knife to cut it. And then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors. Had this tile for ages and didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I found it the other day, so I had to use it. But I haven't found the nice new tiles that I've seen other people using. So hopefully I'll find them soon. And I have some metal ribbon. Don't mind Ethan. <laughs> and... Um, just measuring how much I want to use and I only want the little band part that's on it so I'm going to cut off the leaf parts with some scissors and I will keep that and use it for later but be careful because it's really sharp once you've cut it 
I just wanted this part and just checking that it fits and I was gonna hammer it on but I decided just to hot glue it <laughs> you should probably use a stronger glue than the hot glue but I'm just rushing for the video <laughs> Well, it stayed on so far, so... But I don't know how long it'll last. Of course, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I just thought I needed something else. Or if you have something that would work better, you could use that. And I'm going to use some super glue to glue on the next part. And that is the We Welcome sign. Also, this would look nice without the welcome part on it. And I used the mineral paint because I didn't want it to be too bright on it if I used like the plaster or something. And this is how it turned out. When you look at it without the light shining on it, you can see the welcome clearly, but it's not showing up as well on camera. I have an 8x10 canvas from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking a box cutter and cutting off the canvas but I'm cutting it like this because I want to use the canvas again. You need to cut through the canvas but you don't want to cut into the wood although I'm going to cover it up anyway <laughs> so it wouldn't really have mattered. And then I took the canvas off the back and I took out some of the, uh, what do they call them, staples. Just the ones that were sticking up I took out, I just took some needle nose pliers and then I took off the extra bits of canvas. I had to hammer that one down. <laughs> And then I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue. And I already laid out these half beads with a space in between them all. And I'm just going to glue them all down. Then I'll do the rest off camera. And then I stain it with some of this Golden Oak Gel Stain. I actually got for Dollar Tree for a dollar a while ago. <laughs> And then I'm just taking some hot glue and putting it around the canvas. I'm making sure I use like the white side and then I'm just sticking the frame down on top and then just scraping away the hot glue that oozed out. Then I have one of these wall stickers left so I'm just going to stick that down in the middle and then I'm just going to hot glue the bits that are curling up down. And then I just make a wee hanger from the back, from the back, for the back, <laughs> with some twine, hot glue and a craft stick. I'll just glue down a little bit of the canvas and this is how it turned out and I really love how it turned out. I had rough wood on my canvas, I always see it be with smooth wood when they take the canvas off but it actually turned out nice with the rough wood. And I have this wee sign and I'm just going to take off the back and take off this little thing. And if I didn't have that wee thing glued down then I would have used that as I like the the pattern on the sides and the colour I would have used it to make some a DIY obviously. <laughs> so I have this scrap bit of the wallpaper from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting it out and then I'm going to stick it down. And then I um, just gave it a wipe inside. And then I just put some hot glue on it in the corners and then I put the back back in and that's it. And I think this one turned out really cute as well. And it was so easy. 
have to do some DIYs sometimes. And then I have one of these nesting boxes and it's the bigger one and one of the screws came out the other one did not want to come out I thought it was because I had lotion on my hands but uh, it still didn't want to come out so I just left it <laughs> but you won't even see it because I'm going to glue on some beads on the bottom with the wood glue again And then I have this macrame cord from Dollar Tree, so I'm just going to glue the end and snip off the frayed bit. And then I'm just going to hot glue it all around the edge of this box. You could double it up and do go around twice if you wanted to. I just decided just to do once. So I just keep gluing that all the way around and then when I get to the end I just cut it and then hot glue it in place and try and make the two ends meet so that you can't really notice it. It didn't, didn't work out as well as it does with a nautical boat. And then I have these wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I have two of them left so I thought I would just stick one in here. Uh, this is how it turned out and I just put in a wee candle and some crystals inside but you could put succulents or a wee trinket, whatever you like. And I have another canvas from Dollar Tree, the 8x10 canvas and I'm just doing the same thing as I did the last time and it's the same clip from last time because the second time I did this it didn't work out so well and uh, I had to just end up ripping the canvas off because I used my X-Acto knife and it didn't work out so definitely use the box car. So just peeling off all the canvas and then and then I just take out the staples that got pulled up with the needle nose pliers and take off the excess canvas. You could take all the staples out if you want to but I can't be bothered doing that. And then I have a little mini palette from Dollar Tree and four of the wooden half beads and I stain them with the early American wood stain and then I have this 11 by 14 flat canvas from Dollar Tree and some more of the peel and stick wallpaper and I'm just going to stick it down. And I stuck it to the back side because I thought it would stick better to that than to the canvas side and then I'm just trimming off the excess. I'm trimming off the rest of the excess. Just make sure you, you stick it down better than I did. <laughs> and then I'm just going to hot glue this canvas in the middle. This canvas, the frame for the canvas in the middle. And then I hot glue the little palette in the middle of that. And then I hot glue those we half beads, one in each corner, just to make it look more finished. And then I had this home sign, I took off another DIY, and it was painted in the plaster colour. I'll show you the plaster colour in the next clip. That was this one. And then this is how it turned out and I just love this wallpaper and I really love it with the early American wood stain.
for this first DIY, I'm taking this wooden piece that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just giving it a quick sand with a sanding block. Next, I take four wooden beads and I use the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue to glue one in each corner. You can use hot glue for this if you want to. I ended up having to use hot glue for two of them because I didn't wait till they were dry and they fell off. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this wooden piece from Dollar Tree until I found these gorgeous stickers and look how pretty they are. So I, once I found them I knew what I was going to do. So I just measure them on the side and then I trim them down and I make sure that the pattern is the same at the end on each end of the sticker. I use ink Waverly chalk paint to paint the stickers and the outside of the tray and also along the across in the middle just the top edge and the outside and I use Waverly antique wax to do the inside of the tray and this is what it looks like. I use folk art gold paint to dry brush on the feet of the tray and you can use any colour combination that you like for this. You don't have to do the same as me. And then I just put that to one side and then I use the same gold paint to paint over the stickers but I'm just dry brushing over the stickers to pick out the detail. And I knew it was going to look so nice so once Look how pretty it looks. And you can put the stickers on first if you want to before you paint it black and then you'll avoid this part where I had to pick off the excess paint. <laughs> but I didn't want to get any of the gold paint on the tray so that's why I did it this way. And then you just stick one on each side yeah, if you stick it on the tray before you paint it, you don't even have to do two colours, you could just have one colour. And, yeah, definitely avoid having to pick the paint off. <laughs> just do whatever works best for you. And to style it, I just filled two of the sections with some of the black rocks from Dollar Tree and then I put a succulent in each one and then I put some jewellery in another and crystals in another but you could put succulents in all of these, you could put jewellery in them all, you could use it in your office and put paper clips and stuff in it, whatever you choose. So this is a little sign from Dollar Tree and it broke so I'm just hot gluing it back together and then I'm pushing it down and hot gluing it so that on the other side there isn't a gap. And this is the easiest DIY ever. <laughs> and I have some wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to stick one down on the other side. And that is it. I, um, you can have it as a picture like this, it looks cute, or you could make it into a little mini tray like I did, and or you can just put a candle in the middle, you could put a little plant on here, it's up to you what you want to put on it. I think it was really cute and simple, what do you think? For this next DIY I have a wee tea light holder from Dollar Tree, some of the pearl adhesive stickers and some gem tack glue. And I'm just going to put a wee blob of glue in between each of the squares on the tea light holder and then I'm just going to stick a half pearl in each one and it really didn't take long to do, to glue all the pearls on. And then I just let that dry and don't know how for long, 
how for long <laughs> i don't know how long for <laughs> And then I took some ivory Waverly chalk paint and I gave it four thin coats because I didn't want it to clump around the pearls. But if you had some spray paint, it would be much easier and you could just do, uh, do a couple of coats of spray paint. And then I have some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing it around that rim at the top. So I just hot glue all the way around and then trim it off at the end and then I just hot glue it and hot glue the two ends together and then I take a lighter and I burn off all the little hairs on the twine and I think it turned out really cute I made it into a wee planter let me know what you guys think down below. I always appreciate all your feedback and all your support. I just use a sand and sponge to sand off this unicorn, this wooden unicorn box from Dollar Tree. And it doesn't take long, it's just a quick sand. <laughs> and then I stain it with some Waverly antique wax. I love how the antique wax looks and it always dries really quickly. And this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to take some ivory Waverly chalk paint and then just brush some of that on the box. So I don't do the whole box. For this one, I do all the sides and the top edge and the inside and I leave the bottom. I, I don't paint the bottom. And for the next piece, I do all the sides and the rim and the inside edges but not the, the bottom of the inside <laughs> and then I just paint a, a little bit of the edge around the other side of it because I'm going to be gluing the two pieces together And then once it's dry, I just sand it off with the sand and sponge. I just need a quick sand. And then I have one of these tiles from Dollar Tree. So I just measure in it with the box to see where I need to cut it. And then I use a ruler and an X-Acto knife so that I get a nice straight edge. And then I tried to fit it in this way and it didn't fit. <laughs> so I took it out and I turned it around and then it fit fine. And then I just pushed it down in the corners and stuff, made sure it was flat. And then I take some of the super glue wood glue and then I glue the two pieces together. And then I just put some jewellery in here, but you could always put a candle in here or you could put a plant on here. It's up to you. And then I have another way to style it. And you turn it upside down, you can make it a little succulent holder. And for this first DIY, I have one of these wee trays. And I'm just going to cut down some craft sticks to cover up the stars on the sides. And I wish Dollar Tree would make these without the wee cutouts on them. So I just cut the craft sticks down with some scissors and then I glue them on with some super glue wood glue. And I just glue them on the inside of the box. And I wipe off the excess with a cloth. And then I stain it with some Minwax Jacobean wood stain. You can use antique wax or whatever you like. And that's what it looks like. And then I got these stickers from Dollar Tree. They're like hinges, but they look like medieval and I love that kind of thing. So I picked them up and I'm going to make this into a wee tray. 
so I'm just sticking them down but they were really sticky when I first pulled them off the sheet <laughs> but I stuck them to so many things arranging them to decide what way I was going to put them so they aren't sticky anymore so I'm just adding on some hot glue and then I have these laser cut out flowers also from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue one of the rows to each side to cover up the star and I have to put a wee bit extra on that bit there and I have some nautical rope and I'm just going to make a wee handle for each side of the tree and you could glue this to the outside to cover up the star but I wanted to put it on the inside I used some painter's tape to mark off where I want to cut it and then I cut it down and I hot glue the ends so that it won't fray and then I measure the other piece and I just do the same thing and then once the hot glue has set then I just take off the tape and then I hot glue it on the inside of the tree The leather ribbon from Dollar Tree would go nice for this, but I didn't have any, so we're going with some nautical rope. <laughs> so I just hot glue down the other side, and the handles are just for show anyway. So you just, there's always hot glue strings, <laughs> they're so annoying. And then I just hot glue these wee flowers on the sides. I was thinking about putting two on it, but it was going to look too much. So here I am, I'm just painting the roses gold, but I end up later on uh, mixing some black and gold and putting that over the top of it. And I had to use two packs of stickers. Well, I only bought two packs of these stickers and I made all the DIYs with two packs and this is how it turned out and I think it turned out really cute. I really love how these hinges look and the colours as well and it would look good with the antique wax as well I think. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. I stained this wee wooden square from Dollar Tree with some Minwax Jacobean wood stain have some gold paint from Folk Art and I'm just going to paint this laser cut out flower and I also ended up going over this with the black and gold mix that I make later on and then I just hot glue these wee corner stickers in each corner and then I hot glue the flower in the middle and I was gonna make the flower like ivory colour or something but then I didn't want it to stand out too much so I do go in and make it a bit darker than this later on and then I also added in on in the middle one of those little flower stickers and then I put a tipper block on the back so it can stand up and I just use hot glue and then I held it until it was in the position that I wanted and then here it is with the darker black and gold mix and the little flower in the middle and I think it turned out really cute I stained a larger square wood piece from Dollar Tree with the Jacobean wood stain and, and I just hot glue them down in this pattern I'm going to show you <laughs> and I thought that it looked really pretty like this because you don't have to use them just to look like hinges or like a box and a tray and stuff so I just hot glue them down 
what you don't burn your fingers like I do. <laughs> I don't even feel it half the time anymore. And then just make sure if any comes out, you take it off before it sets. So I'm just using some of the smaller ones and putting them in between the ones that are already glued down. Oh, look, it looks pretty. <laughs> and I wanted to put an initial, an initial, an initial <laughs> in it. And Ethan wanted to have it, so we're, I'm putting the letter E. But he says it doesn't look like an E, it looks like a boat. But I wanted to do like some like old English kind of font um, to go with like medieval looking theme. So I found this one on Cricut Design Space. It was called like Agon Court or something. And I just printed it on some vinyl and then made it into a stencil. And I mixed up, this is where I mixed up the black and the gold together. And then I just dab it on. And I didn't want it to stand out too much from the rest of the picture. So that's why I made it darker and I wanted it to look old. But you can always make it ivory or another colour, whatever you like. And then I gave a quick two second blast with the hair dryer so that I could peel up that other vinyl without messing it up. And, well it doesn't look quite easy this way round, but it is an E. And then this is when I decided to put some of this colour on the other DIYs that I did. And then I glued together two tower blocks with some hot glue. And then I attach it to the back. And then I, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> and then I attach another one on top of that to make a stand. And I love how this turned out. And I think Ethan is happy with it too. I stained the outside of this drawer with some of the Jacobean wood stain. This one is actually from Michael's, but it's the same thing as the ones in Dollar Tree. And then I just hot glue the rest of the stickers on it. And after I had done all these DIYs, I only had one of the wee flowers left. I managed to use the rest of the two packs. And I wanted to use all the stickers up, so I decided to make this wee flower. And I decided to use the Jacobean wood stain because I did the last DIY first <laughs> and I used it for that and I thought that the hinges and this colour uh -oh, had a nice theme and looked good together. This is how my wee planter turned out and I think it turned out really cute and I just love the Jacobean wood stain, I just think it's so beautiful. And again, if you don't like this stain, you can use your favourite stain or the antique wax. And here I have some foam board and some of these wall stickers from Dollar Tree that have a map of the world on them and I love this because it looked like old fashioned map and I just love stuff like that. I love history and that's why I all this DIYs with the hinges I thought went nice with this. So I just stick it to the foam board and then I take a ruler and an exacto knife and I just cut it out. Mm -hmm. 
and I almost got <laughs> the two pieces of uh, wool sticker lined up perfect but you don't even notice it's like a, a millimeter um, but you can't notice that when it's all finished I need three of these packs of wee wooden cubes from Dollar Tree and all I do is I put them around the outside so that I can measure exactly how many I need and remember the blocks aren't all the same size they're all different sizes so I measured it out first and then I got some super glue wood glue and a square ruler and then I glued them together exactly how I had laid them out in the first place to make sure that it was all going to fit and then I did it the ruler this way around so that that edge would be straight because that would be the edge that I glue to the foam board so I went onto the side here but then I joined the rest of the first the bottom row together so I did that for all four sides And then I stained them with the Jacobean Min Wax Wood Stain. And then I just put them in place and make sure it's all going to fit. But I mustn't have measured properly because <laughs> one side was too long. So I just marked it off and then I cut it down with my wee saw. And then I just hot glued it all together. First I did it this way, put it on the edge of the foam board, but that was a bit messy. <laughs> and then after that I put it on the edges of like the bottom edge of the blocks and that worked out better. Oh, and I used foam board because you could get some little pins and then you can put a pin in all the places that you've been. I was going to do that but I forgot to get some. <laughs> and then you just hot glue it all together. And then when the hot glue is dry I turned it over and then I made a wee hanger for the back with some twine, hot glue and a popsicle stick and if you wanted you could put some extra hot glue on the back of the blocks but I didn't bother and I just love how this turned out <laughs> it was so simple but it just looks so beautiful and it gave me the inspiration for all the other DIYs I did in this video. And for this first one, I have this happy Hanukkah frame, and I'm just taking a sanding block from Dollar Tree and sanding off the glitter that is on the front of it. And then I paint it with some ivory Waverly chalk paint and I ended up giving it four coats and then I put some Waverly antique wax around the outside of the frame. And I love how if you just paint this on some like light paint it looks like actual wood. I don't know what the name for it is but it's the one of the paint brushes where the bristles are a bit stiffer and the ends are not like the ends the 
the hairs are all different lengths so I use that those kind of brushes for dry brushing but it makes it look like wood grain when you use it with the antique wax and this was from a Dollar Tree hat and you know the summer hats and I just pulled it apart which I'll show you later in the video but this was uh, one of the scraps that was left so I'm just putting it around the outside with some hot glue And then I have these wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I bought them because I love that sun and moon so I'm just going to stick that on the front and that's it finished, it was really easy this one and I love how this turned out let me know what you think down below and which one of these DIYs is your favourite and I have to find some or well, think of some other idea well this next DIY was so easy this did have a little succulent in the middle of it so I'm just pulling out the little metal wire part that was glued in and the hot glue then I'm going to paint it with the Waverly Antique Wax and I gave it three coats of paint and then I'm just giving it a quick sand to just distress it a little bit and then after that I have some stickers from I bought a couple of years ago from Dollar Tree. I don't know why I bought all these stickers but I decided to use this one and just stick it down in the middle and I didn't like the glitter that was on the heart so I decided to paint over it with the ivory chalk paint and then I didn't like how that looked so I added in a little bit of the antique wax just to darken it a little bit and then that was it it was really easy and it turned out so cute you could put this on a tear tray um, yeah let me know what you think um, let me know in the comments the that I got from Dollar Tree and for the first DIY I found this love picture and I'm just using a scraper tool to scrape off the word love which was just cardboard and then I use a sanding block from Dollar Tree just to sand off all the glue and cardboard that was left on the picture and after I finished sanding I gave it two coats of white Waverly chalk paint and then I dry brushed some of the ink Waverly chalk paint on the frame and you can leave it white if you want to or you could do it solid black but I decided I didn't like how this looked and if you don't like something, it's easy just to paint over but I didn't want to paint over the black completely I wanted to blend it in with the silver metallic paint by Folk Art and I just used the same brush that I used for the black paint and I just mixed in the silver paint and I really like how the colour turned out And these are the tile stickers from Dollar Tree and all I did was cut one of the long edges off and it fit perfect. I didn't even take it off the sticker sheet, I just hot glued it and then fit it inside and then I hot glued this magnet that I got that I thought was really cute right in the middle. And I wanted these stickers for a while and I finally found them and I think they're gorgeous and if you just wanted to make it without the magnet this is what it would look like and then this is it with the magnet and I love how this turned out I love the dark silver colour and I love the stickers and I love the magnet <laughs> but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below I've had this in my stash for a while and it was from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint it with the white Waverly chalk paint and then I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the previous DIY and paint on the black and then paint the silver on because I, I don't know what it would look like if I just mixed them together so I just did the same thing again and 
And then I just stick the tile stickers in place. And I didn't use any glue, but I would recommend that you do because <laughs> they aren't very sticky. And I just make sure that I try and get them equally spaced out. And I think it turned out really pretty. I just love these tiles. <laughs> um, I think I had the flash on here so they are quite shiny when the light is shining on them but oh, when the camera's not on them they look really good. This little frame was from Dollar Tree and it was already painted black because I'd used it in a previous DIY and it was the Waverly ink chalk paint so I'm just sticking in the stickers and trying to space them evenly and this was such an easy DIY I only had two packs of those stickers so I had to make sure I used them all and this is just a little cute picture you could put on a tear tray or something I wanted to show you what they looked like on the black background and I love it <laughs> I love how they look and for this last year, why I have these two wooden palettes from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use some super glue wood glue to glue them together to make a wee shelf. And once the glue sets, I'm going to paint it with the Waverly white chalk paint. And then I just start sticking the stickers on and just make sure I space them out evenly. And I won't show you the rest, I'll do it off camera. First I made it with a white paint and this is it here. And I love how it turned out with my favourite colours black and I wanted to put it in my craft room so I painted it black and I'm going to show you it right now and here it is and I just love how it turned out so let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon